My name is Charles Kuntz and I'm a surgeon at Southpaws. Today I'm going to talk to you about a dog who presented with a history of acute onset of inspiratory strider. Uh, it was initially diagnosed as a laryngeal paralysis, but on laryngeal examination it was found that the laryngeal function was normal. Uh, we did a thoracic radiograph and found that there was a mass in the lumen of the trachea and this was removed using a uh, tracheal resection and anastomosis. Hope you enjoy it and if you have any questions please feel free to uh, send us an email or place a comment. This was Milo on presentation and you can see that there is really severe inspiratory strider. This video was taken just about 30 seconds later and we can see that there is absolutely no uh, respiratory distress at all. This CT scan shows the mass in the middle of the lumen and now we have a fly-through um, which shows the camera inside the uh, lumen on a virtual endoscopy and we're just passing the tumor at this point and then into the endotracheal tube. At this point, we're starting the midline thoracic exploratory in order to identify and resect the mass. The manubrum was split in order to allow better access to the intrathoracic portion of the trachea. I'm going to go with safety first. Are we recording? Mm -hmm. The loose connective tissue around the trachea was very carefully dissected in order to avoid damage to the recurrent laryngeal nerves, which lie on either side of the trachea. Can Stay sutures were placed in the distal trachea to prevent uh, the segment from retracting into the thoracic cavity after transection. Mm -hmm. yep. And I'm starting now. Mm -hmm. We know when to turn it off. Okay. The trachea was transected, a sterile endotracheal tube was passed down into the distal segment or the intrathoracic segment and the cuff was inflated. The tip of the tube was then passed under the drape and the anesthetic machine was connected. We can see now, looking into the lumen of the trachea, the mass which was completely uh, occluding uh, the lumen. The proximal end of the trachea was then transected to allow removal of the mass. A laparoscopic grasping forceps was passed down through the old endotracheal tube and then out through the oral cavity. This allowed the old endotracheal tube to be removed and a new one to be placed over the laparoscopic grasping instrument and to direct it down the trachea without having to reintubate in a conventional fashion. The tube was then passed into the distal segment and the stay sutures were used to pull the two ends of the trachea together. Simple interrupted sutures of three OPDS were placed um, in a pre-placed fashion and then held using hemostatic forceps. Keep recording. Um, sure. Let's go ahead and Keep all the rest of you. Once all of the sutures were pre-placed, pre uh, they were tied using hand ties in a sequential fashion. The anastomosis was leak tested and when bubbles were found, a simple interrupted suture was placed. After placement of the interrupted suture, no more bubbles were found and the surgery was completed. Yeah.